be who anymore. If pastors are not doing all this, what will become of within people that are, God forbid, I'm looking unto Jesus. People that are looking unto their daddy, Gio, mommy, Gio, name Gio. What will become of you guys? If you be people that you people are looking out to, your real mother, your people that you want to emulate, people you want to be like, if they started like this, now if not that they started fighting each other now, what will become of you guys? How now want a survivor? I they ask question, I don't know, now make a they ask so. So I beg if you get the answer, maybe put up for comment session. And as it is now, any pastor when do pay, I go carry a couple for here. Anyone will do like this, I go carry a come put for here. Anyone when they follow the others, they beat the others, I go come put on for here. And for those of few, when they say, touch my anointed and do my prophets no harm, may Holy Ghost fire bend down your mouth, go one corner. Are you not one of the anointed? I've been a devil, nice sit on your head. Me, I'm also one of the anointed. Then what are you? Which level you, which role be, which role you they play? It's just like a father now they do wrong thing. You go no say your father they they he they he they, they off. He, your father they misbehave. You know if you call out to order. This idea of a uh, uh, leave judgment for God. People that you are telling them to telling us to we should not judge them. But they are the one putting they are fighting their judgment with their own hands. So which example are they giving that we have to emulate? Is it, not, is it not by fruit? But they say by their fruit we shall know them. By their fruit we shall know them. By their doings we shall know them. So if pastors cannot leave vengeance for God, if pastors cannot leave judgment for God, then who are we to if they that claim that they are the anointed ones? How can we the unanointed ones now we not be looking on, we not be leaving vengeance for God? Why they that are anointed will be taking vengeance upon them? And who can do us this one? Make I not see that comment for that comment any comment section. Oh, we go quarrel. Oh. If you know, say you know one, may we get me we put life for one trouser. I tell God, beg you. If you don't know what to comment, in as much as say I they beg you now na comment. No comment anyhow here. Anything where pastor they do now, all of them when they fight each other, I go they carry a carry and come put for here. Make una come list it to people where they support Papa J. People where they use Papa J. Say they cover eye. Papa J not said do not this one, but unfortunately, now so now back for the matter. Now don't they plan how most negotiate that very dark man, whether in the morning or in the night. Papa J said on this one. Papa J only only sue he sue a very dark man, but he not a single client. But now don't they share on how most they'll take my hand. I'm, my people make you not watch and I just take you one second. I come back. Um, they will pity for him. They will be talking bad about Muslim now as a very dark man. Um, they will pity for him. They will pity for him. Maybe they will not kill him in the morning, but they will kill him in the night. Yes, they will give him grace. Yeah, they will, they will give him grace. They will not, they will not, they will not get angry. They will not leave him in the morning after you know, the night. They will kill him. Yes, but they are not remorse. That's you can't share this with uh, to most people. Yeah. No, they will kill you in the night. Please tell people just call Luzgad and say, bring the job, bring that. And he knows. Show not all yet then. First of all, MJ King, sir, I greet you, sir. With due respect, sir, please, this is not cut for. You claim to be a king in Dubai and Enugu. As a king, you claim to be. Such words shouldn't be uttered publicly. Knowing fully well that this is public domain, people will react different ways and read meanings in different ways. Please, sir, don't get me wrong. I know you have right to react, to talk about anything on social media. Is your phone, is your opinion. I am not disputing that. But the words that come out from your mouth matters a lot because people are watching. You might be you might be role models to you might be role model to some people. Please, people that love you, people that trust you, watching this video, they might not find it funny. You might say it out of formalities or bragging. You want to prove to the people that you are powerful, this, that. But people are watching. People will read minutes. You might not mean it serious, but people are watching. Please, sir, this is not cut for. You people claim to be fighting for Papa J. Papa J did not send you people all this now. Please. You people should stop adding fuel, petrol, kerosene, or whatever to this chaos, a chaos that is already 
on ground. Please, sir, with due respect, this is not cut for. That is for that. Okay, another one. They are saying that uh, very dark man cannot talk to Muslim the way he's talking to Christian. Yes. Very dark man dare not talk to Muslim because Muslim, you have not seen Muslim selling pure air, water, oil, empty air card, and cashew, sand, stone, or whatever. Have you ever seen Muslim selling them? No. Have you ever seen Muslim making mockery of their of their Quran or Allah? No. Have you ever seen Muslim inviting inviting a comedian to the altar to come and mock uh, the body of Christ, to come and mock pastors, to come and mock the Holy Spirit? No. Muslim don't engage in such activities. We Christians, we are the problem of our sex. We Christians, we are the one mocking Christianity, not pagans, not Muslim. You only see Muslim that we talk down on Christianity. They do their thing. But whenever you talk, they are all in negative, they, in negative way. They will come for you. That is why they always stay their lane. Forget that we see some Muslim that is by my people. Those ones, they are not Muslim. When you live with real Muslims, I bet you, under a month, we become Muslim. Real Muslims are so peaceful. Yes. Hey, very well. I'm facing me. You prepare very well and face me i don't i don't go to court i don't go to court but what will face you is bigger than court all right as you all know the ratio never back down and they like challenge like this first of all i will challenge you first before we go spiritual i won't challenge you for this i want no i challenge you for physical make a fair use opportunity to face and sand you this and sand you can you just imagine this is coming from a man of God. You can sense the aura, the darkness. The darkness. Gone are the days when men of God, they use God's name, the brag. Now all of them, they use their own name. I have powers. I have powers. I'm calling, I see, I'm calling out Asimwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, my president. I'm calling you out. You gave the wrong person the minister of power. Give this man minister of power, more get life 24 hours with all the powers when he gets. You can't use any hands of the teacher to me. Say who you be. My house will haunt me. My breath will haunt me. My this will haunt me. You cannot do anything. I give you a go ahead to go and use the greatest power you have. You don't move me. Who you to say the follow talk? Hmm? Who do you think you are talking to? Do you know me? Which power do you think you have? I say go to the highest level of power you have. You don't touch me. I mean to tell you. We stand feet. You don't understand? We stand feet. Now God. If God no run now, nobody fits. Unless if God say VDM, come and go. But you see, nobody. Now, in order to prove it to you that you have no power, I give you three days to use those power that you say you have. If nothing happens to me in three days, you are an anyhow man and you no get ahead. That means you are powerless and anybody that believes in you should stop believing you, believing in you. If in three days nothing happened to me, delete your Facebook, delete your Instagram and delete your TikTok. You are no longer regarded as somebody that is powerful. You don't get power. I give you three days. Three days. Who did you say they follow talk? Who did you say they follow talk? Siam, and this one called himself a man of God. What power do you have? Are you God? Are you God? Did you give me breath? You can breathe in air. I can breathe in air. You have so much power and you know go hospital, go raise, go raise people where they suffer for hospital, where they pay dialysis money for people who get kidney. How about people where they are on oxygen? And you say you have powers? What kind of man of God are you when you cannot help the people that are in a vulnerable position? What kind of power, what kind of man of God are you when you cannot help the people that really need help? When you cannot go and heal the sick in the hospitals and raise the dead? So you are proud to do evil? Yes, now, they're proud to do evil now. Yes, now, they're proud. See the way they rake. In the brag, they vibrate. For who? I have power. The house is shake. Your dish is shake. Your dad is there. First of all, I challenge you physically. I won't face and sand you first. I won't face beat that power come up for your body first. I won't face off, off the power first. You understand? Man, whether your powers be amplified physically. I won't give you shiko, shiko. Me your nose. Me small, small genie, genie come up for inside. Me the guy that talk anyhow, they deceive all these people for Facebook. Now, so I deceive everybody for Nigeria. Come this a one that can't talk that nonsense. See how many children they banned for here? Come now. You say they follow you, they do that one. Now, no, they shame. Use God nearly do anything on our life for that country, for the vulnerable people. If you kind of let come near me, eh? Without your beer, beer, where be like goods. If you kind of your carrots are come near me, we'll get problem. The rats will know they back down. You go and learn if you follow me, play. And you will learn and you will learn the hard way. You not give me a touch. I dare you to use your power. 
Don't play. Else you go and learn and you will learn. No saying. Let's not stop making caricature of the body of Christ. It's, it's enough is enough in Nigeria. Enough is enough. I am still going to say it again. I've said it before. The one, part of the problem we are having in Nigeria are pastors in Nigeria. Most of them are too greedy. They are extremely greedy. They are very greedy.